Good morning, everyone. Um, this is a very brief, um, condensed down version of a presentation I've heard twice now from a gentleman in our organization that is extremely successful. He's fascinating to listen to. And it just, it, every time we hear him, he, he's just really exciting for us. So these are the highlights, and I mean just the highlights. It's going to sound a little bit choppy, only because, like I said, it's a very high level view. But there's some great inspiration in here, and I hope that you'll all walk away with a little bit more of the reason why and how you do your business. Do you remember this story about the little girl who went to her mom and said, well, why do you cut the ends off the ham, mom? Well, because your grandma did. So she goes to Grandma. Grandma, why did you cut the ends off the ham? Well, because Gigi did. She goes to Gigi. Why did you cut the ends off the ham? So it fit in the pan. <laughs> Simple. She drilled down to that why. Why? And we always have to be questioning why for our clients and our customers. So how do you find your customers' why? It's by listening. And I'm really, really listening. We all know that you should be listening 90% and talking 10%. That's why God gave you two ears and one mouth. And you have to ask those questions. Why? And drill down just like that little girl did. It doesn't matter what you sell. Every client is different and every client has a different need, a want, and a why. When I sell financial security, Client doesn't care what I use to get the job done for them. Just that their financial security is set. There's no mistakes. I can call an annuity a snuffle up a guess, as long as it gets the job done. When you find out what's important to your client, your job then is to execute that great idea. We've all heard of Apple, and we all know that Apple is definitely different. Do you want to buy an air conditioner? Do you want to buy some advertising? When I say I make sure your financial security is set, that means no mistakes. I'm not selling a product. I'm selling your future. So how do you get your ideas heard? How does this sound? Let's schedule a meeting to go over your file, your issue, or your concern. I'll watch the back of your head, Ron. Or, hey, I've got an idea, a concept, or a solution that I want to share with you. Can I come by? Oops. Because you've already listened to their story by asking their why and found out what's important to them, you can execute the great idea that you're paid for. Our clients are busy people, and their priorities are definitely different than ours. We have to accommodate that, and we have to work around that. Perfect and be consistent with your process. When what you do is routine and second nature, you don't have to think about the little things. You can focus then on each individual client. That means repeating your introduction, repeating your confirmation calls and your interviews. The same thing over and over and over again. You don't have to think about it then. How great you will be will be driven by how emotionally connected you are to your beliefs. Here's an example. We've all heard the first line of his speech. I have a dream. He didn't tell people what to do. He didn't even say he had a plan. He simply brought his belief to life. Dick Hoyt, this man and son here, did something above himself. Dick's son Rick came home from school one day and said he wanted to do a charity 5K for a lacrosse player that was injured in an accident. Dick told him he'd push him, even though he was 40 and he hadn't done any running or racing before. Rick had such a great time in that race, he said he didn't feel like he had a disability. 
Instead, it felt like he was flying. Dick knew then that he had to keep helping his son keep that feeling. They completed over 1,100 events. 32 of them were Boston Marathons. This year was their last one. Dick now is 72. But a teammate of theirs will continue to push Rick in those races. The history of our world has been determined this way, by doing something above ourselves. Your biography will be your destiny, destiny if you live in the past. If you're not doing something to make somebody else's life better, you're wasting your time. The secret of success lies in the ability to understand the other person's point of view. By Henry Ford. People can claim to fail due to a lack of resources, but really, it's a lack of resourcefulness. These are some of the daily practices that our guest speaker keeps every day, which I found very simple, very easy. You've got to dress the part. You've got to know the product, know your competition's product, get out and see the people, make a difference, and do something above yourself. In the end, don't deal with everyone, but just deal with the people who believe in what you do.